You've just bought a new PVC door and you need to change the barrel in the lock, but you don't have the key. Well, I'll show you how to do it. This Eurolock style is the most common one that you'll find on a modern PVC door, and the standard for breaking off uh, this barrel when you don't have the key is standard pretty much across all of these. So this procedure should work for you. Just remove these two screws, one here and one here. You've removed the handle assembly and you've exposed the barrel itself. Next, you need to remove this bolt here. Now, there's a few bolts on the side here. The one you need is usually the larger one that's directly in line with the bottom of the barrel. You see the barrel here? The slightly thinner section on the bottom? Well, the bolt that runs in line. Now you'll notice that your barrel now jiggles about, but it won't quite come out. And that's because there is a, a small section here, a cam on the barrel uh, that is turned out of position. So it's not going to let you uh, bring this thing through. Close up of the lock assembly inside, you'll see there's the barrel. And you'll see here is the cam part that is not allowing you to pull the barrel through. Um, without the key, you can't line this cam up that will allow you to pull the barrel in. So, we have to snap the entire barrel. This one, I've pre-snapped. You'll see here, it's broken along the bottom, and that's exactly what we have to do. And looking at the lock cylinder from side on, you'll see that this is the, uh, the center line here, where the bolt goes that we're going to snap it from. You'll see there is a longer side, uh, a shorter side. So you need to find out on your particular lock which side is the longer one and that's the side you're going to snap it from. Obviously that will give you more leverage. In my case it is this side here. Uh, so I'm going to break this one open. We're just going to attach a pair of mole grips onto the lock, get a good firm grip on here and we're going to press down with as much leverage as we can and we're going to break that barrel uh, right through where the, the bolt threads through. So back to the other cylinder you can see, we are going to grip here on the long side, you can see the slightly more uh, distance from here to here, so we're going to grip here on the long side and we're going to apply pressure downwards and we're going to snap it right here where the threaded bolt hole is and you can see there's very little material there so we're going to press down and we're going to snap that lock right in here and we'll see if we can snap this thing. Okay, I've got a better grip on the uh, on the vice grips this time. This is not an easy process, and there's a lot of videos online that will make you think this thing just cracks with very little force. That's not true. You have to really get a very good grip uh, on the cylinder here. Let's try. <coughs> there we go. Now you can reach in behind, pull out the rest of the cylinder, and inside there you'll see the cam. You can just reach inside there and you can pull that out. Push about inside, and there we go. And this is the cam piece. Um, make sure you get that thing out of there. Sometimes it can drop down and actually fall further into the lock mechanism. Just make sure you fish this thing out. Folks, that's how you snap a Eurolock cylinder.